What's up guys, how are you doing? Today is a few days after my birthday. Yeah. Adriana finally has a day off, so I am forcing her to take me to the USS Hornet. Damn, yes. you're forcing me. I'm to forcing go. her to take me to the USS Hornet. But yet, I'm the one driving, so she's not really taking me, I'm taking her. I hope I don't regret this. Or I hope we don't regret this. We're making a quick stop at In-N-Out real fast. I'm hangry. <laughs> I'm hungry too. Sorry, Gabe, you weren't invited. It's date night. It's date day. It's still daytime. <laughs> <laughs> it's date day. It's date day. <laughs> that doesn't even sound right. <laughs> Like I said, sorry Gabe, you weren't invited, but you went to the A's game and I didn't go, so I needed to eat. And this was the only thing that was convenient on my way to the USS Hornet today, so uh, hope you enjoy watching this little clip of in and out We have arrived to our destination. USS Hornet. Guys, I've been wanting to come to this location for the longest time. Ever since I saw the Ghost Adventures crew do a investigation here in the fourth season, it's been something on the bucket list. And uh, the tours here, it's in Alameda, California, which is like 20 minutes away from where I live. Um, the tour costs 20 bucks to get in. They are open, I don't know what time they open in the morning, but they're open until 5 p.m. Right now it's about to be 3, so we have about two hours to tour around this vessel here. And uh, let's see if we can get the whole ship done by today. It doesn't look like there's many people here today, so I'm excited to be in there. Leave it to the girl to look at the map. <laughs> Visitor entrance is right here, so we found something. And here we go. There you guys go. Um, it is open from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. daily. It uh, closed Thanksgiving, Christmas, and New Year's Day. And uh, here's the prices if you guys are interested. These stairs are very steep. Oh, I almost tripped. I don't like this one. We've made it. Well, this day is not starting off very well. So we get here, we walked quite a while from the car to find the entrance, found the entrance, told them give me two passes, I checked my pockets, I left my wallet in the car. <sighs> Welcome to the USS Hornet Sea, Air, and Space Museum. CB-12 was commissioned in November 1943. CB-12 was attacked 59 times and was one of the leading ships that turned the tide of the war in the Pacific and introduced a new era of carrier warfare. She destroyed more aircraft than any other naval unit. After World War II, CB-12 participated in 11 Western Pacific cruises, including three tours on Yankee Station during the Vietnam War. Hornet finished her career by again capturing the attention of the world in July 1969 with her recovery of Neil Armstrong and the crew of the Apollo 11 spacecraft after the first man landing on the moon. Her last mission was the recovery of Apollo 12 in November 1969 before her final decommissioning in June 1970. So, I want to go where the Ghost Adventures guys were at. <laughs> yeah.
Oh, that's where it hit the flights up there. It's so steep in here and narrow. You all right? Yeah. All right, which way do we want to go? Let's go this way. This looks like a briefing room. <laughs> I am too tall for this place. I am literally too tall for this place. These little bunks, they're like for little kids. How could anybody sleep on this? Good old baseball bat. Look at that old school Louisville slugger. Let's go find where Adriana's at. She's in the kitchen. Oh, baby. got a smell of curry. <laughs> I don't think this kitchen is still used, is it? Hey, do you smell curry? I smell curry. I smell curry. It has the smell of the ship, No, 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 no. I, I smelled the ship when we first walked in. Right now, when I walked into the kitchen, it smelled like curry. Why does somebody smell it? I know someone's making curry. Who's making curry? I want some curry. <sighs> it smells nice. Whoever was in here knows how to cook. <laughs> Seriously, guys, this place. I need to watch my head everywhere I walk. Yes, it is. That's poo. Why? I don't know. I guess it has to do with that, right? Probably. It's over here.
Sleeping in this little area. Doesn't home. Imagine being asleep in the middle of the night and then the siren gets turned on because you're getting attacked. You gotta wake up and start running and putting on your gear. Probably a couple of them hit themselves on that. Oh, Look yeah. at that. Most definitely. It gets creepier. Does it? Have we felt anything yet? Whoa. It got colder in here. Did you it was it me? Did you did you feel it? That it got colder in here? As soon as I walked into that door I felt like a cold breeze just hit me. Is it? Okay. Yeah, because I felt it as soon as I walked into that door. I was like. Heavy. <clears throat> what in the world? Is that a dwarf over there? Hi. Look at those little legs. <laughs> little dwarf. <laughs> this is awesome. It's supposed to be an old school television, but it's a flat screen inside. <laughs> I didn't even notice it. 
<laughs> I'm all like, it's supposed to be an old school television, but it's a flat screen. It's a Samsung. <laughs> I know I haven't really done much vlogging, it's just been walking around and just absorbing all of this and... There's been a couple incidents where I've felt things, but... Adriana wants to debunk them. <laughs> One of them, she says we walked into the cooling room, so that's why I felt cold. You like this place so far? I like it. It's nice. I wouldn't mind coming again. You should come again. And again. And again. strong. <laughs> Oh, that's my exercise for today. Let me go exercise at the moon now. One, two, three. I'm going back to the earth. <laughs> you dork. Let me up. It's dark up there. I want to go. You want to go anywhere where it's dark. Yes. She's, she looks like an angel coming from heaven. Oh, this is creepy. Look at this light. It's flickering. I can't debug that one. Oh, well, I can, but I'm not going to. Oh, this is the medical, huh? Okay, so imagine being wounded and needing to come see a doctor over here. So this is an x-ray room. You'd come in here and get your x-rays done. At first I thought it was a holding holding cell, but no. Interrogation room. <laughs> That's somebody's skull right there. This is where all the patients would have been at after getting wounded, being treated, waiting to get treated. Oh man. <gasps> so I just hit my head. Guys, if you ever come here, and if you're tall, I'm about 6'3", please watch your step, because uh, this one just gave me a good kick in the face. Actually, it was that one over there. Was it this one? Yeah. This right here just gave me a good kick in the face, well, on the head. Ow. I think you were trying to avoid this one and you moved it and you into that. Oh, okay, I almost hit my head again. Guys, this is not tall people friendly. This vessel wants to take me apart. <laughs> I wonder if height was a thing back then. It just looks creepy. Right? Let's go. I feel like pulling out my recorder. Is there anything or anybody in here? You heard that? It sounded like a faint voice. Were you wounded in this room? Looking to be seen? Were you bleeding out? Did you survive? Did you get to see your family again? Your friends? Oh. 
Oh, it's getting really cold over here. It just got really, really cold over here. Do you feel that? It feels really cold over here. Like the temperature dropped. Let's do a playback. Is there anything or anybody in here? You heard that? Good lord. Sound like someone was pissed off walking. Oh. As soon as I came into the little church area, service area, got this pain right here in my stomach, like, kind of like a cramp, like it just went, it grabbed me and went, and it twisted a little. It's starting to go away now, but that was weird. So guys, my camera is almost dead, so, um, I'm gonna have to probably finish this on my phone. It is almost closing time, by the way, too, so we're probably gonna have to continue this later on. I'm gonna have to come back again. It just got super windy in here. Like, stop moving your head. What is this? Where are we going? It just got really cold here. As soon as we get out here, my camera died, so now I'm doing the rest on my phone, so. Just my luck that we get out here. It's a little windy, so it might sound a little weird. San Francisco Bay, right behind us. So I believe this is the briefing room. This is where Zach was here. Zach stood right here. Aaron was sitting right there. And I think Nick was sitting right there in this episode. Zach walks over here, takes off Aaron's sunglasses, and says, it's time to go. <laughs> or something like that. It's time to take those off. Whew. There is a heavy smell in this area, in this area, there is a heavy smell. heavy in here it's hard to breathe it's really heavy in here well guys this concludes our day at the USS Hornet I've had a pretty good time here um, mainly it's just walking around but uh, there's areas that are is closed off that I would love to see love to visit Hopefully one day uh, we'd come here earlier and be able to see that stuff. It's $20 per visit. Uh, besides getting hit in the head, that was my fault. Um, only big experience that I felt was when I got that cramp in my stomach. Whatever it was, it felt like something, like I said, just grabbed me and twist me. It was kind of weird. It was in the chapel area. But uh, other than that, uh, I'd love to come back here again.
it's uh, there's a lot of history in this location, and uh, I like to do a night tour. <laughs> so, what do you think? I like this. You like this? It was good. It was nice. Ready to come back? Well, we have to. We need to do part two. Part two. Yeah, we when to it, go I, I still need to do that. I want to do that one. No. Busy. I really want to do that one. Here you go. Oh, look. You got to pay for it. Single ride is seven dollars. It's five minutes long. Double ride is ten dollars, and it's ten minutes long. I enjoyed this place. I do want to come back again. Thanks, guys, for joining us today here at the USS Hornet in Alameda, California. We'll talk to you guys later.